All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, on this lovely Wednesday. I'll tell you, what a great week we've been having so far, huh? I know, isn't this uh, T TBLT working awesome for us? Uh, you know, you can see it right now. I know a bunch of us have it. Who's got it right now? I mean, I, I, I'm i in it right around the 60, uh, 260. I kind of got in very late. It was a late runner. Let me just change the slide right here. Uh, you know, I, I got in right around here. It was kind of late. And I, it wasn't doing anything right around 8 o'clock. And then finally made a nice little pop. So everyone's got it. P uh, Neil says uh, P-Tie popped. Grant, you got a little piece of it. Dave, you got a piece of it. I know a bunch of you got – a lot of you jumped into it. INPX is tanking. I know. I saw that one too. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, before we get started and getting some of the good winners, by the way, this thing looks damn strong going into this open. I'm really excited. Hopefully a lot of you guys got it. What do I always say? One share, guys. One, one share. Don't forget that one share rule. All right? A lot of you probably wonder, what the hell's one share mean? Well, when you come in class, you know exactly what I mean. All right. So anyway, uh, yesterday, uh, let me tell you, Monday and Tuesday, holy cow. I mean, could it get any better? And it looks like we're getting it right now with TB, uh, the TBLT. Uh, but let me tell you, the MBOT, holy macaroni. Was that a winner or was that a winner? Um, I mean, MBOT was just unbelievable let me just bring this chart right here since monday it ran from four dollars all the way to ten and then yesterday and even in the pre-market it just didn't stop it, it just didn't want to stop it ran from 10 all the way to 18 where are you going to see stocks like this you know up 200 300 i mean if you do the math you're talking what 400 percent in what um in in what two days and basically uh two days so and if you remember, I just want to kind of bring a point yesterday. I was kind of joking around in class. I'm like, damn, I wish I still didn't sell it at 15. And, and it went to 18, and everyone was sitting there like, ah, I want my shares back. Well, guess what? Do you know why I got out of 15? I got out of 13. I bought it back. I went to 15. I bought it back. You know, I got out of it. Uh, I didn't chase it anymore. Look where it is today. It right, Go right, to, right into the middle of our 12 o'clock. Look what happened. Went from 18 right down to 8. Just tank. So remember, day traders, and this is what all of you guys got to remember. It's okay to take the money. It's okay to take a profit. Okay? Great traders. Okay? Never buy at the bottom, and we never sell at that top. We buy in between. The worst traders, the worst traders buy at the bottom, and they sell at top. You know why? Because that's all they focus on. And to find that bottom and sell at the top, okay, you know how many times you're going to lose trying to always like, oh, this is the one that's going to pay the mortgage. This one is going to, you know, put the down payment. This one, listen, that's not how we trade here at Cyber Trade University. And you know that, traders. It's about taking and making a day's pay. Every single one of you, if you bought it at four and sold it at five the day before, even went to 18, who cares? There were so many of them out there and you guys cleaned up. And I'm just ecstatic that a lot of you guys got into it. The other big one was PCG. Let's bring up that one. Uh, PCG was another huge winner yesterday. Doesn't look that pretty from here. I mean, we all know the story about it, but on the short. But yesterday, I mean, getting it on the bounce, it was awesome. I mean, look, it went from five dollars all the way to seven all day. I mean, you could have made money. It had such major support levels right around here. You know, at the uh, what was it, the uh, six forty-five. And, I mean, it, there was money to be made all day long in PCG. Now, remember, I'm still looking at it that with all the bad news, um, you know, this might be a good swing trade now, you know, but we'll, we'll check it out and keep an eye on it. But, uh, but you know, I, I wanted to make a point because Josh was bringing it up earlier. Uh, we were talking about it. Uh, remember, with PCG, one of the big things we also teach you, remember, is the time in sales. And if you go back in your time in sales, there was a 16.8 million share print at six dollars and 91 cents that's what we call a dark pool okay and obviously they always do it in in the, in, uh, in after hours so uh, what does that all tell us well that's what you guys got to learn that's what we talk about in class and uh that's something that you know once again yeah, we don't have time to it right now you know obviously this is being recorded we got ready for the open but i just want to just throw it out there because a lot of us always ask hey did you see this see that and yeah and I just want to make that comment out there, right? So, so hopefully you guys are able to go back with your, you know, with your platforms and check those time and sales to see those prints. Now, what are we going to be trading this morning? Now, obviously, what the big news right now this morning is something we all not going to be trading anyway is the bank stocks. You know, the bank stocks, uh, more, uh, 
The Godfather of Wall Street, Goldman Sachs. Let me bring that up, GS. Uh, Blue at Blue Earnings. They said it was probably the best uh, uh, P, uh, P ratio that they ever had. Uh, you know, stock to obviously took a big hit. Some of you guys don't realize, but Goldman Sachs does about 70% of their profit comes from their trading department. Just what we're doing. That's why we do what we do. But they're the ones that really run run Wall Street, and uh, you know they had a really good earnings. Now, how do you uh, how could you profit from it? Well, Bank of America did pretty well, and you can see it's moving pretty well. But you deal with brand name stocks, you know. You know, I, I get a kick out of, but you know, I do subscribe and I listen to other people what they're chatting. Listen, where do you think you're going to make more money trading Bank of America or trading you know TBLT, right? The TBLT. Look how much two dollar stock went to three dollars. What did Bank of America do? Went from 27, 6, 6, 4, 40. If you jumped in at you know at eight o'clock this morning, where'd it go? Uh, 2, 27, 75. Where is it? 28, 25. So it's still money. I'm not gonna argue, but you know, anyway, I just want to kind of bring that out because we always get people that don't understand that there's a different there's 25 million stocks out there why you trade the same one. But it but listen, it's good for the it's good for the market, it's good for the for our swing traders, you know, and other stocks will follow along. You could see Citibank. Uh, J.P. Morgan. They're all. Uh, I spelled it wrong. It was a J.P.C. Right? Oh, the wrong J.P.C. There we go. Uh, it's this one's obviously. I uh, I spelled that wrong. Not J.P.C. Uh, what was it? Oh, M.S. That's the one. Morgan Stanley. I mean, there you go. I mean, they're all moving pretty nicely. Uh, with the market, it's J.P.M. Right. That's what it was. I don't know where I got the C from, but let me JP Morgan too. JPM. They're all basically making a uh, a little move due to what the market's doing. So anyway, it all looks pretty good here. Uh, now regarding about uh, what what else we're going to be trading this morning, the banks. Listen, you know, I know some of us have some bad habits, and you know, we still have a soft spot for them. So listen, if you want to trade them, just remember what we taught you. Better follow those high. Ma look, you can look on the matrix. I don't know. Find, go find yourself a, an iceberg order on J.P. Morgan, but the uh, the TBLT. <clears throat> I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Uh, Benito says it's on fire. What do you guys think? TBLT. Since we started, two eighty. Where is it? I don't know about you, but that's pretty nice little profit there, don't you think? I might even just. I might even just start. I might consider selling my stock right now that I own. That's a nice little winner. How awesome is that? Don't you love this job? It's freaking awesome. Anyway, so we got the TBLT, uh, the PCG. We'll keep an eye on that one. The MBOT. I'm not always a fan going back to uh, spilt milk, but MBOT is obviously uh, kind of making a little bit of a move this morning. PCCL. That's another one that showed up on my radar. Stock, you could see it long term. Stock destroyed, but it's doing, you know, the stock's starting to move this morning. And last stock I found uh, is the FDC. All right. So this one we saw, it starting to trend down, though. Uh, probably going to scratch this one out. Going to stick with the TBLT. Anything we're missing, guys? Anything we're missing? We missed out? TBLT. There we go. Uh, Benito said he made seventy-five cents and a half, uh, a second and a half. That could be a world's record. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> uh, let me see what we got over here. Uh, the snap. You know, I saw that one. Uh, I saw that one, Ken, and it's just tanking. You know what I mean? Snapchat. See you later, buddy. Not really working out too well on that IPO. Not a good sign. So I'll tell you, I had that stock, and I, and I, and I thought I was going to hold on to it, but, uh, and I lost money on that trade. And yes, you know what? You know what's so funny? People always say, like, you guys lose money. Yeah, of course we lose money. And good thing I lost money, and I got out. I, I owned it at, like, 14. I sold it at 12. It was a swing trade. Good thing I got out of it because right now, look where it is. It's below six. Okay, which is one of the hardest things to teach people is how to, you know, come to their senses and how to take a loss. And, uh, you know, listen, you can always make it back trading something else. Don't, 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 uh, you know, listen, you could jump off the ship and still survive, you know, and jump on one that's floating. Don't be going down with the sinking ship. So anyway, there you go. All right, guys. So, um. Uh,
We have our watch list. We know what we did yesterday. You all did well. By the way, the market even opened up yet, so keep an eye on the T the TL uh, the TVLT. All right. So uh, the stock, obviously, you can see has a lot of room uh, for movement here. So we'll keep a close eye on it, see if it breaks all time highs. All right, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Congratulations. And oh, and don't forget today at twelve o'clock we got open house again. So make sure you tell all your friends and everyone to show up. And uh, we'll go over and talk about a little bit about what we do here and what our philosophy and hopefully you want to join, join our tribe. <laughs> All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.